five signs how you can notice whether you will go bald or not and three tips or strategies in order to prevent this from happening further. Hey, what's going on? Matt here and in this video I'm gonna talk about five signs of early hair loss. We all know that hair loss is a complex problem and needs to be treated as soon as possible in order to prevent more hair loss happening. And it can progress in different rates. If you have just noticed slight temporal recession, it doesn't mean that you will go bald in two three years from now. It can also be 10, 15 or 20 years from now. But it is very important to notice hair loss as soon as possible and start treating it as soon as possible. All right guys, the sign number one, excessive amount of hair on your pillow. If you have dark hair, use white pillow. If you have blonde hair, use darker pillow in order to notice how many hairs do you lose after every morning. Also number of hair that you lose in a shower. These two things are gonna tell a lot whether you have hair loss or not. And yeah, it's normal to lose about 100 hairs a day. Somebody tells you 150, somebody 50, 100. But it is not really normal to see and be able to count all of these 100 hairs because you will not see visually every single hair that you have lost on a daily basis. So be careful if you are already seeing like 20, 40 hairs already falling off on a daily basis after you comb your hair, after you wake up in the morning on your pillow or in a shower. This is a sign that you may start receding for real. Now the second, take a look at your relatives, family members from your father and mother's side. And yeah, take a look both at both sides. Don't just take a look at the mother's side as some people claim. We don't really know for sure whether it's only affected by your mother's side. So I would check all my relatives, uncles, uh, grandpas, and especially check for these typical M shape, U shape or V shape or horseshoe shape. Now, this is also a sign that, well, if your relatives have this and you are carrying their genes to some extent, it's likely that you will also develop this type of receding pattern. Now, the sign number three, which also increases the likelihood of you developing some type of receding pattern, and it's itchy or flaky scalp. In my case, it was more like itchy scalp. I remember at the university, I was around 20, I was learning, reading, uh, uh, studying uh, long hours, and I was always experiencing this itchiness, even though I was washing my scalp every day, I was just sitting at home, I wasn't even sweating all weeks long sometimes, and I just needed to, I would just, you know, just brush my uh, hair like that, and on my books, I would just see like tens of hairs, I was like, whoa, this is not good. Now, the sign number four, which is also overlooked sometimes, and it's basically that the hair just takes longer to grow. If the hair is affected by miniaturization, by the progressive miniaturization triggered by DHT, its hair growth phase will be shorter and shorter, so-called anagen phase. It's not gonna be two to seven years as the textbook suggests by a healthy individual, but it can be even as short as six months or even 12 months. You will notice that these miniaturized hairs will just grow maybe five, six, seven centimeters and then they will fall out and then they will grow again a little bit thinner, but again to maybe like five or six centimeter of length and then it will fall out again. That leads me to the sign number five, which is your hair just becomes harder to style. Duh, it makes sense if you have less of it right now, it is gonna be harder to style because it is just thin, wispy, it breaks, it falls out much quicker than it used to. These were the five signs, but this is not where the video ends. I want to help you right now, and I'm gonna tell you three tips which you have to do right now in order to stop this from happening, from progressing further. This is the first thing that I recommend to do, what I wish I would have done much earlier, and this is tracking your hair loss. 
And by tracking your hair loss, I don't mean obsessing about it, spending half of your hairstyling, morning hairstyling routine with, oh my God, has it recessed further overnight? You know, this type of stuff. Don't do it. No, it hasn't recessed in one night, so don't worry. No, what I'm talking about is like taking regular pictures or shooting short videos of your frontal hairline, temporal region here, sides, mid scalp and vertex on a basis of, I would say once every two or three weeks would be a good idea for the start. So that would be the tip number one. The second step was to focusing on stopping your hair loss, freezing your hair loss as it is right now, so it will not progress further. So if you already do this, you are doing well. And what you can use here are the FDA approved treatments like finasteride and minoxidil. Finasteride is simply riskier for young guys. I really do not recommend it as it can come with some uh, severe side effects when it comes to your libido erections, uh, even some mental, psychological problems. Well, minoxidil is also not an angel and it also can come with some side effects if you don't use it correctly. It can also uh, make your scalp feel dry, itchy, uh, make your skin uh, wrinkled, your forehead, really make you actually older. Uh, as some guys report it, I haven't experienced that myself, but it's also possible. Sure, there are other treatments like laser helmets, PRP, uh, but these are not FDA approved. They're just FDA cleared. That just means that they are safe to use, okay? No side effects or anything like that, but they are not, they were not proven to be effective for hair loss. Otherwise, they would have been already FDA approved. So they are only FDA cleared. Third step, the third tip is going to be to start regrowing some of the hair that you have already lost. Now, it's gonna be much more easier if you are like Norwood One or if you are a guy who have just noticed some recessions, uh, some slight temporal recession or maybe the hairline. There's a very high chance that you can regrow almost 100% of that. Here are the things that you can do to regrow the hair. As I said, finasteride, minoxidil, but this is not the most effective what you can do. There are also things like microneedling, derma rolling, uh, using derma pen in combination with treatments like minoxidil or other topical products, which are DHT blockers. What DHT blocker is, it basically blocks the DHT, the excess of DHT, which was converted by the 5-alpha reductase from your testosterone, and then the DHT will bind onto your hair follicles and makes them smaller and smaller. So you wanna use microneedling together with either fin finasteride or minoxidil. Again, minoxidil would be slightly better, or just use it on itself with some other topical DHT blockers. You can also use DHT blocking shampoos. I'm using the shampoo from Hair Restoration Laboratories, uh, which you can also find in the description below. In case you are interested, you can also get 15% off on the shampoo on your whole order. But you can also use any other shampoo which has ketoconazole in it, which had been proven to block DHT. Now, if you want to successfully manage your hair loss, stop your hair loss and regrow some of your hair the best way possible, sign up for a free consultation with me or an expert on my team. And the way to do it, there is the link in the description below where you can literally do that. Yeah, we also do international calls, but you have to take this seriously. This is especially important for somebody who wants to get a hair transplant, already considering hair transplant as an option for hair restoration, or especially important for you if you got a hair transplant already and you are not very satisfied with your result. Let me help Help you with that as well so you can have a natural looking hairline great density or even the best possible density you can have so you can again live a fulfilled life style your hair the way you used to the way you like it without constant worrying about do people notice how do I look oh my god the wind is blowing my receding spots are gonna be now uncovered you know 
stuff like that. I also have experienced that. So check the link in the description below and let us know when you would like to be contacted. And other than that, thank you so much for watching because you are the reason why I'm making these types of videos. If you have any questions, uh, suggestions for the possible topics I can discuss, make sure you comment below. See you in the next video or talk to you on the phone.